that you developed um, a very loving relationship with them um, and when at, uh, at what point of their lives uh, this, uh, uh, this situation started to change? Six years ago uh, my ex-wife and I were separated. I left a marital residence and uh, moved in by myself um, we went through a very acrimonious divorce, unfortunately, which took three years um, to settle. And um, so it's been three years since we've been divorced. Um, I accepted uh, some very uneven terms because I, of financial constraints and just because of the length of uh, the potential trial that we were uh, undergoing. Uh, was psychologically very difficult and financially quite difficult as well. So. Um, as I accepted very uneven terms, where I allowed for my ex-wife to have full custody, I figured as time uh, went by, it would have dissipated the anger, the animosity that existed between us, and would allow for a little bit uh, a, a, a normalization of the dynamic between us vis-a-vis -vis our children. I would be able to um, see them uh, frequently, you know, and not have any kind of barriers imposed upon me. And this pretty much was the truth throughout the two years subsequent to the actual divorce where increasingly she would let me spend more time with the children even beyond the stipulations of the settlement of the judgment of divorce. So I would see the kids instead of all, during dinner for Wednesday night, they would sleep over. And that again was not part of the stipulation or she did children would spend even more time than just from Friday to Sunday which was also part of the judgment of divorce so I was seeing it as a good sign until I got involved in a serious relationship with the man and again that created a whole host of problems where um, my ex-wife pulled the children back and um, over time as I mentioned before it became more and more apparent to me that the children were becoming more estranged from me. Um, they, and, uh, but did you have situations where you, you, confrontations with them where you could really st uh, f have this, this um, anger reaction from them, where they, they, they were uh, fighting against you or, or giving you um, their f feelings in, in, in this situation? Actually, no. It, was, it came very much as a surprise to me because um, I knew that my daughter, particularly as she was getting close to adolescence, um, she was acting as any prepubescent teenager would act, you know, mm -hmm. where there is a little bit of tension between father or parent and child. So I took that as just a normal developmental issue. You know, I didn't think of it as something particular to our relationship. Um, I remember my own relationship with my parents, you know, was strained at times, mm -hmm. and it was just because I was a bratty kid, you know, at 12 years old. But um, I always uh, exposed my children to my lifestyle, to my friends. It was very normal for them to see uh, me kiss my friends on the cheek. Um, this is a custom that is obviously in Europe and in Latin America, you know, the norm, but in the United States, uh, we uh, shake hands, you know, so, but my children seeing this kind of uh, display of affection uh, was normal to them, you know, daddy kisses men on the cheek, and, uh, that's, that's normal. Um, so there are very little subtle nuances like that that um, 
that they would pick up um, and we would go to different friends' homes. Who, uh, in one particular case, I have a, a, a lesbian couple friend um, who lived together, obviously, and uh, we celebrated their birthday, uh, one of the partner's birthdays. My children were in attendance, and I have another gay couple who are friends of mine who, through surrogacy, uh, had a, a child, and um, my children went to the, the birthday, um, of the first year birthday of this child. So they understand and have been exposed to the idea of uh, the non-traditional family, which could be two men, two women, so on and so forth. Thank you.